And now, the second installment to the greatest thing you've heard of since last week. That's right. Guess that game! Brought to you by the Play On Game Channel. Number one. This is a fighting game developed by Aiding and Hudson Soft in 2003. It is the fifth and final of the series, as well as the second game in the series to appear on the PlayStation 2. Like the previous game in the series, characters can transform into beasts during battle, using the beast gauge slightly increasing their power. The game received mixed reviews according to Metacritic, but had a harder time performing in Japan. A couple seconds left, let's see if you can get this one. And time. The answer is... Bloody Roar 4! Number 2! This is a rhythm-based action game developed by Tango and published by Bethesda for PC and Xbox. It was announced on January 25th, 2023 and released the same day. The game follows self-proclaimed future rock star Chai, whose music player is accidentally embedded in his chest during experimental cybernetic surgery. The game received generally favorable reviews upon its release from critics who praised its visual style, art direction, and humor. A couple seconds left, let's see if you can get this one. And time. The answer is... Hi-Fi Rush! Number 3. This is a 2011 action-adventure video game developed by Team Bondi and published by Rockstar Games. Set in 1947 Los Angeles, the game follows the detective's rise among the ranks of Los Angeles Police Department as he solves a range of cases across various bureaus. This game received generally favorable reviews from critics, according to Metacritic, getting a score of 89 out of 100. It was praised for its facial animation, narrative, characters, performance, music, and world design. A couple seconds left, let's see if you can get this one. And time. The answer is... L.A. Noir. Number 4. This is a 2016 puzzle game developed and published by Tecla Inc. Inspired by Myst, the game involves the exploration of an open world island filled with natural and man-made structures. The player progresses by solving puzzles which are based on interactions with grids presented on panels around the island or hit paths hidden within the environment. This game provides no direct instructions on these puzzles to be solved, requiring the player to identify the meaning of many symbols and puzzles. This game received generally favorable reviews on Metacritic, getting a score of 87%. And time. The answer is... The Witness! Number 5. This is a roguelike game designed by indie developers Edmund McMillan and Florin Hemsel. It was released in 2011. The game's title and plot are inspired by a biblical story, and in the game, the main character's mother receives a message from God demanding the life of her son as proof of her face. And her son, fearing for his life, flees into the monster-filled basement of their home where he must fight to survive. This game received generally favorable reviews, averaging 84 out of 100% on Metacritic. And time. The answer is... The Binding of Isaac! Number 6 This is a 2022 adventure game developed by Blue 12 Studio and published by Annapurna Interactive. The story follows a cat who falls into a walled city populated by robots, machines, and mutant bacteria, and sets out to return to the surface with the help of a drone companion. The player traverses the game world by leaping across platforms and climbing up obstacles, and can interact with the environment to open new paths. A couple seconds left, let's see if you can get this one. And time. The answer is... Stray! Number 7! This is a 2014 action role-playing game developed by Bioware and published by EA. It's the third game in the series. The story follows a player character known as the Inquisitor on a journey to settle the civil unrest in the continent of Theas and close a mysterious tear in the sky called Breach, which is unleashing dangerous demons upon the world. 
Released in 2014, this game receives critical acclaim, with critics praising its exploration gameplay, combat, visuals, writing, characters, and customization. The answer is... Dragon Age Inquisition! Number 8. This is a 2014 platform game developed by Retro Studios and published by Nintendo for the Wii U console. The fifth installment in the series, this is a direct sequel to the 2010 Wii game. In the game, the main character and his family must venture across five islands to save their home after it's frozen over by a group of invaders from the northern seas. Like its predecessor, the game received generally positive reviews. A couple seconds left, let's see if you can get this one. Should be pretty easy. And time. The answer is... Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Number 9. This is a 2015 first-person shooter game developed by 343 Industries and published by Microsoft for the Xbox. The plot follows two fire teams of human super soldiers, Blue Team and Fire Team. When the Blue Team goes absent without leave to track down the artificial intelligence construct Cortana, the main character's loyalty is called into question and Fire Team is sent to achieve it. Microsoft announced this game in E3 in 2013 and the game sold 5 million units within 3 months, but despite this it had the lowest opening sales of any game in the franchise. And time. The answer is... Halo 5! Number 10! This is a racing game influenced and inspired by the OutRun series, Sega games, Initial D, Vaporwave and Synthwave, and the spirit of 90s arcade. It uses a real pseudo 3D engine to provide an authentic retro experience in a modern show. After being funded via Kickstarter in 2016 and delayed, it was released independently for PC in 2018. A new version of the game, rewritten, was released for Nintendo Switch, PS4, 5, and Xbox in 2022. A couple seconds left, let's see if you can get it. And time. The answer is... Slipstream! Hey, how'd you do this week? Did you get them all right? Make sure you leave a comment tell me how many you got, or if you have any suggestions for the show, let me know. If you're not subbed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Do it now. See you next time.